Hey everyone, Will here, and uh, this time I've got my daughter Willow, and we're going out for a daddy-daughter backpacking trip. We're here at the uh, Willow Gulch Trailhead down in uh, Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Yes, I'm still going to call it that for now. And uh, yeah, never been before, neither of us, so uh, I'm going to go check out Willow Gulch because Willow turns 12 this year and uh, still a few months away, but uh, wanted to take her, thought now was better than her birthday when it's a lot colder, so um, let's see how she does and got a mile and a half to get down to her campsite, so here we go. Technically, I don't know if we're actually in Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. We did have to drive through much of it, but technically we are within the borders of Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, for what it's worth. And we are just south of a much more uh, popular Coyote Gulch, which is a number of miles back up the road for those trailheads. Um, looking at the register here, there's two vehicles from Colorado. Looks like they're part of the same group and uh, their permit in the register uh, shows that they've got a group of 12. Uh, there's one other vehicle, but uh, I think the person who owns that vehicle came back and they may, may be heading out tonight. So uh, might just be a group of 12 and us. And I thought there was a 50-50 chance that we'd have it all to ourselves tonight, being a Tuesday night, but uh, we'll do. I'm sure that group 12 might be down in an alcove down there and hoping that's the case because there's another spot that I'd like to camp that I think has a better view of a big arch called Broken Bow Arch down there. Tiny little arch right there. Just uh, making our way down into the gulch here. Feet on each wall if you have to. There you go. Good job. That's why I have to try it here.
you. Oh. 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 fish down there. About ready to turn a corner up here and should arrive where I want to camp. As long as that other group's not in it, but I think the most popular spot is that big alcove up here and I'm sure they're up there in that alcove, so. I think the spot I have in mind has a better view of the arch though. Good job. Here's home for the night. Got fully furnished and everything. And there's Broken Bow Arch way out there. What did you think of the hike? It was cool. You glad we made it to camp? Yeah. What do you think of the campsite? It's really cool. Yep, it's a really cool site. Got our uh, tents up, finally. Beat the dark, that's always a good thing. So, we got solo tents. Now, this is a new one I picked up. I actually used it on my last trip uh, on above Sheets Gulch, or between Pleasant Creek and Sheets Gulch. And uh, now Willow's gonna sleep in that one. I'm gonna go fly less for the night. Uh, see the stars. And then I've got my uh, tarp tent up on the slick rock here. Looks like it'll be clear sky. Oh, so beautiful. But uh, yep, get our sleeping pads filled up and sleeping bags in and then uh, get dinner going. So for dinner, I'm boiling up water for this uh, cheddar broccoli nor meal. And then uh, Willow probably won't do it, but I'm gonna try this uh, mango chipotle salmon in mine. See how that goes. We did a dry bake muffin here, and it uh, looks like it's done. Chocolate chip. Alright, well, we're all tucked in bed now, and by tucked I mean laying on top of the sleeping bags because it's pretty warm down here. 
And uh, so I'm just gonna stay on top of the bag and sleep, or uh, try and fall asleep like this. And if it gets cold and the, or cools off throughout the night, then uh, might uh, get in the sleeping bag then. Uh, we got really light bags, 40, 45 degree bags, so they're really thin and but uh, lightweight and just right for this kind of trip down here in the desert in uh, June here. So yeah, it's been a nice little hike down in and we'll see lots more when it's uh, daylight again. Um, uh, so we'll uh, check back in in the morning. Breakfast is served. Got pancakes and tang. Does it look good, Willow? Yeah. So here's a look at our campsite. And my, what an awesome little campsite it is. As I said last night, it's fully furnished with these uh, rock seats here. Nice little backrest, and then our uh, little sit pad makes it that much more comfier. And then a smaller one is set up just right for uh, Willow, huh? And then uh, there's a firing here. Of course, uh, fires aren't allowed down here, and you know, so didn't use it, but it uh, does add to the atmosphere, I guess. So here's a look at uh, the tent Willow slept in last night. It's a Himalaya One by Wilderness Technology, which is a store brand from a local recreation shop called Recreation Outlet. And uh, yes, it looks a lot like a big Agnes. It weighs two and a half pounds for the whole setup. I actually used it on my uh, trip last week from uh, Pleasant Creek to Sheets Gulch and uh, tested it out. And I like it. Easy to set up for the deserts down here and easy to shake out the, the sand and dust when you're done. So, works really well. And then brought my tarp tent for me that I slept in last night. And, uh, you know, it's always trickier setting it up on slick rock when you can't stake it out. So I put the stakes on and set some rocks on the stakes. On the ends you got the cordage here. Don't need a stake on the end. You just put the rock there and that seems to do the job. You do that on either end. And then another rock uh, sitting on a stake over on this end. And that's uh, so I can tie back my storm flaps and have ample ventilation that way. And this is a view up on a little alcove behind us. And then come around to the even better view of Broken Bow Arch, right there. So we're gonna pack up camp here and uh, then uh, take our stuff down, back down by the creek here and then uh, wander up the creek a little bit up to the arch and just check out the area up there. And uh, It's supposed to be like a little water slide or something like that down there. We might get some tubes out and give those a try and uh, see if we can't have a little bit more fun before we get out of here. All right, so what do you think of this campsite? It's cool. Is it the prettiest campsite you ever camped in? Yeah. <laughs> all right, we uh, all packed up now and leaving the campsite and dropping back down to the creek now. All right, made it back down to the creek and uh, on our way to the arch. There's another deep pool. Just sliding down that.
Wow, talk about a desert oasis under here. This is awesome. Made it to the arch. Here we are on the east side or the other side of it. Awesome view. Well, I think we found the water slide. Can get our tubes out and see how they go going down the uh, slide there into the uh, Cool. I'm gonna pop it. Well, that didn't work so well. Oh well. Just gotta stay on my butt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! All right, well that didn't work so well. Got these uh, little dollar tubes. They're size for age three to six and uh, yeah, definitely sunk right into the water with it. So should have gone. I was trying to go ultra light, ultra compact. These were a dollar. Did get some three dollar ones for ages ten plus, and those probably would have been a little bit more fun for this. Oh well. Next time, we'll have to remember to bring the bigger tubes. That would have been fun, just floating in the pool here with some big tubes. We're gonna head back to our packs and. Get them loaded back up on our back and head back for the car. And then uh, lunch is calling us sometime thereafter. There's Broken Bow Arch and a really pretty reflection there. Got our packs on our back and heading out now. Really awesome down here. Wow. Keep finding a uh, litter in here. It's the second piece of litter I found to take out of here. People are not paying attention to uh, what they're dropping. Willow's got the trick. <laughs> Willow's going Mary Poppins now with the uh, Gossamer Gear umbrella here. They uh, deflect the sun, deflect rain. Keep you about 15 degrees cooler, is what they say. Only weigh about seven to eight ounces. Very light, very popular among uh, Pacific Crest Trail hikers who uh, many rely on them for the southern deserts down there, the southern sections. And 
and uh, also used by many others out there. Places like the Hayduke Trail and elsewhere. There's a company in Germany that distributes these umbrellas to all these uh, ultralight manufacturers. I think uh, they originally went to uh, Go Light, and then they've since gone on to Gosma Gear, Z Packs, and a couple of those other ultralight cottage companies. And uh, Gosma Gear sells them for the least, but they're all made by the same factory and just rebranded and by uh, different uh, companies that stamp their logo on it. But uh, how are you liking it, Willow? Is it working? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Nice. So Willow says they work. the home stretch which is basically getting out of the wash here and uh, going up the hill here and the car is right at the top of the hill up there on the other just over the edge there I'm not sure what others call this rock I forget so I'm just gonna call it flat rock and the trailhead is just beyond it it's a little baby chick here of some kind of a bird. It's so sad. I don't know where its nest is or where its mom is. It's all by itself and uh, I don't see, don't know where it came from and don't know if it's gonna make it. Poor guy. Poor little birdie. Where's your mommy bird? Where's your mommy at, huh? Where's your nest? Another maybe answered prayer on this trip. Uh, I noticed when we got here the tire, this back left tire on the car was looking pretty low. Not flat, but low, and I was wondering if it was going flat. Uh, probably took the road a little too hard in spots and hoping to make it back up into Escalante and have a shop check it out, make sure it's just needs air and nothing more. But uh, yeah, unfortunately I uh, left my jack at home, stupid me, coming up a road like this without a jack and so I can't put a spare on. Um, I mean, I could borrow one from people here, but uh, I think I'm just going to try and limp it back and just take it slow and steady and hope it survives back in Escalante and get it looked at there. We made it back to the car and uh, into the air conditioning. Um, yeah, ready to head back into Escalante and hope this uh, tire on the car survives the road trip back. Uh, but anyways, it's pretty awesome coming up here to back to the trailhead. Uh, an old acquaintance was here and recognized me right away. Is that Will Wicker? It is! Yeah. What's up? His name is Burke Alder and uh, we we're actually in the same neighborhood together. Um, went to the same church congregation uh, for a few years and uh, yeah he's got a big group of youth and friends here to uh, go on a much more uh, ambitious expedition than Willow and I did. They're gonna drop down Willow Gulch here 
and uh, do some rafting. I'm not sure what the logistics are for them, but uh, they're getting their rafts all staged out. And gonna hit the uh, Escalante down there and or Lake Powell and uh, have some fun out at Lake Powell down there. So, anyways, uh, Willow and I are heading back. Have anything to say, Willow? Happy to be back in the car? Yeah. How's the air conditioning feel? I can't feel it. You can't feel it? Alright, maybe. Oh, okay, you got your handheld air conditioned. How's the soda? Good. Cool. What an amazing hike. A lot of bang for your buck in a mile and a half, two miles down there. And, uh, wow, just little slots, the water, the the shade, the trees, the arch, amazing. And uh, man, so spoiled here in Utah. There's just so much, so much awesomeness in Utah and the variety and diversity of landscapes. Just uh, so lucky to, so fortunate, so blessed to live in Utah and have all this stuff that we get to visit within just a few hours away from where we live, any given direction. Willow, did you enjoy Willow Gulch? Yeah, except for the part of dying. Yeah, that last hill did you in, didn't it? <laughs> Coming out. What was your favorite part down in the gulch? What, what did you like the most? I liked, um, I forgot what it was called. It was by the place where you, with the water slide. Oh, the water slide, the shady spot yeah. under that rock, like little hollowed out rock subway. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. Where you saw the crayfish and fish and stuff. Cool. Well, what are you looking forward to now? Ice cream. Ice cream and lunch, huh? Yeah. Okay. Pulled over for a quick stop at Hall Rock. Here's a dance hall rock, and uh, the historic significance to this uh, spot, and uh, the reason why it's named Dance Hall Rock is a group of pioneers had uh, a group of Mormon pioneers that uh, were living down south here around Escalante and nearby communities all gathered together and were asked to uh, forge a route out to Bluff to make a settlement in the uh, southeastern corner of the state, out yonder, way, way out there. And uh, they ended up coming down here in, in the fall in what was supposed to be, I believe, a uh, four to six week journey. Ended up uh, being a lot longer. They ended up having to uh, camp here for six months spent the whole winter around this spot and they would uh, keep their spirits high by having little uh, dances here. Uh, they'd all gather and do their dances here in the evenings and uh, the acoustics here are probably pretty cool in the little amphitheater there to echo the uh, fiddles and who knows what else. And uh, the reason they uh, stayed here for six months was because they had to uh, innovate and creatively build a road down a gorge, which is way out there. It has since been called Hole in the Rock. And uh, that little expedition that took over six months to complete was uh, the Hole in the Rock expedition and uh, pioneers known as Hole in the Rock Pioneers. and. So it's a cool piece of history here to stand here where all those pioneers camped before they uh, were able to finish their road and get across the Colorado River way out there.